Hi, this is uh, Carrie Gans from Newbie Phenomenon, soon to be Newbie Rewards. Uh, so stay tuned and check your email uh, for this really exciting new uh, website that I think you'll find real interesting for you, your business, your profession, whatever. Uh, what I want to show you today was something I just found, which is kind of cool. It's uh, how to add a poll or survey to your blog. So right now I'm at, uh, and uh, just understand that when you can, the, the value of adding a poll or survey to your blog. Now every visitor that comes in becomes a research tool for you. Uh, by that I mean you can use uh, surveys to find out what kind of new products people are looking for, why they came to your blog, uh, what kind of information they need, what problems they need to be solved. I mean the, uh, you know, the results of, can help you in numerous ways. And it's real easy to do. And there's several ways of doing it. But I'm going to show you one today that I just found. It's kind of cool. So uh, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to, I'm in my uh, Newbie Rewards blog. And I'm going to go, I went into Plugins and Add New. And then up on here, I'm just going to type in the word Polls. Now, I've already done this before, so I know that, we're, that it's going to be in there. But that's basically how you would find various plugins. The easiest way, at least I found. You can also go to the top here to Upload, and Feature, and all that stuff. So let's search. And now we found a whole bunch of them. Now, I use WP Polls, uh, and that's a real nice one. Uh, real easy to use, but I just played around with soda head polls. So we're going to install it on this blog. And now all you do is click install. And one of the real power, uh, part, you know, the power of WordPress is how easy it is to do this stuff. Uh, and we're going to activate the plugin. This takes a matter of minutes, and then we're done. So it's, we're done. Now I have other things to do here. You can see, just as an aside, when you have plugins, it tells you when the new versions are available. So all you have to do is click upgrade automatically and it'll upgrade the plugin for you. Now how easy is that? So anyway, let's go ahead and add a poll. So SodaHead puts the uh, poll in your widgets, which are little applications. So I'm going to click on widgets in the appearance section. And you'll see over here somewhere there's SodaHead poll. Now I have a sidebar here that contains a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm going to get rid of some of it because right now I don't really need it. I don't need search, so we're going to take search out of here. And I'm not really interested right now in comments, so let's get it out. And let's put soda head in. This is how easy you can change your, your, you know, your sidebar and all that kind of stuff. Now you can figure out where you want to put it. So I'm going to put it right above categories. And now it's going to ask me to create a new poll, which I'm going to do. Now I already have a... a um, no, a, an account with them. So I'm going to log in. All you have to do is put a nickname in, whatever your username is, your password, and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put mine in now. Whoops. And submit. Now, if you had it, you would just put in your own. And now, what's the question I want to ask? Well, we're going to ask, uh, what do newbies need? And the answer could be um, more uh, courses. Second question might be more video training. Could be more PLR products. It could be more, let's think, uh, more um, personal help. Okay, now you can even add more choices. So let's add one more and let's give them more online support. Okay, that's just, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. Now all you do is click submit. And it's going to show the, it'll show you the form in a second. And then you can pick the size. Now I, I'm going to pick the smaller size to make sure it fits into my sidebar. I'm going to click Done. Now you can also customize these. You can put graphics on them. See, you know, whatever you want. And you click the Customize button. And you can see you can change the colors, the background, the text. I'm going to leave it because I have to like it. Um, so it's real, real easy to do. And you can even put graphics on there. Click Done. And that's about it. Now I'm going to click Embed. And you'll see there's the poll. Now, always remember to save. Now, I do this several times because sometimes this is kind of weird. So I'm going to click it and then make sure you close it because sometimes it will disappear off of there. 
So I like to go back in and just make sure it's there, click Save again. I don't know why, but sometimes it disappears. Now once you create these, by the way, they'll appear in your polls. Now you can see I have an account, so I have three different polls. I have a different blog. I have a WordPress blog and a Twitter blog. So we have different polls for different reasons. So now I'm done, and let's see what it looks like. So we're going to go to Visit Site, and let's see if it's there. And if you scroll down, there's the poll. Kind of cool. And that's as simple as it is. And then you can go into your, uh, your administration, and you can actually see what the results are. Um, that's about it. I just wanted to show this and uh, enjoy uh, putting polls on your blog. Have a great day. Okay, this is the second part on the um, plug-in video using SodaHead to create polls for your you know, WordPress blog. I just wanted to show you how you find the results. Because, uh, you know, what good is a poll if you don't find the results? Anyway, all you do is log in, go to uh, SodaHead.com. And you log in using whatever username, your uh, email address, and your password. And then you go up, and you, you'll eventually come to a screen that looks something like this. Forget the bottom part. And you'll see your dashboard and your username up in here. Click on your username, and you'll come to your username profile. And on the right-hand side here, you'll see the questions you've asked. And then you just click on them. And what it'll do is it'll give you the written. Now, I just did these today, so you'll see this and there are no responses, but you can see the questions and you can see the results, which is kind of cool. Uh, and there's all kinds of other stuff here, but uh, and that's all there is to it. So that's how you use SodaHead. I just thought I'd put the second part up here so that you benefit from that as well. Um, start using polls.